Two million children die each year from diarrheal diseases. That's more than HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. These deaths are preventable, yet in developing countries like Cambodia, the lack of proper sanitation puts children at risk. IDE developed a sanitation marketing campaign that has led to a dramatic increase in the number of latrines purchased and used by rural families. But as those latrines fill up, there are no hygienic options for pit emptying and waste treatment. So the waste is often left untreated in the environment. IDE believes that this problem can be turned into an opportunity. Our bold idea is to use hydrated lime to raise the pH of the waste and kill the pathogens. It can then be turned into a safe fertilizer that adds nutrients to the soil while the lime helps reduce the acidity that keeps Cambodian rice yields among the lowest in Asia. It's a simple and innovative idea that addresses a public health issue and helps rural families to increase their crop yields, uh, improve their nutrition, and escape cycles of poverty. In collaboration with Stanford's Design School, IDE is developing the technology and business models that will enable rural entrepreneurs to transform a liability into an asset for their rural customers. Hydrated lime is cheap and safe. When mixed into the latrine pit, it neutralizes the waste in less than two hours, transforming it into a safe agricultural product. It's a simple and innovative solution that addresses a growing public health issue while at the same time helping rural families to increase their crop yields and escape cycles of poor nutrition and poverty. We will use the Grand Challenges Canada Award to answer the following questions. What are the safest and most efficient ways to treat waste with lime? What are the effects of lime-treated waste on crop yields in the Cambodian context? How do we turn this into a marketable product and a sustainable business? Latrine pits are filling up with human feces, contaminating the environment and spreading disease. It's time we put our bold idea to work.